From the shattered ruins of our nation's capital, this is football action on sticky bleachers and violating a restraining order issued by Al Michaels, Chris Collinsworth, and Carrie Underwood. I am Corey. <laughs> I am Bobby, and uh, at the new Trump Stadium here in Washington, it is pretty awesome. It's tr- Everything is now gold, Corey. Tremendous, beautiful, huge. Absolutely awesome. Many of the pieces came from China, I understand. <laughs> Ironically. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. Anyway, and meanwhile, here in Trump Stadium, we do have football action going on here, and it is the hometown Washington team uh, still carrying on the proud tradition of being named the Redskins. Uh, one thing that Trump did not want to name after himself no. um, was the team. Absolutely. We'll keep that proud tradition of uh, <laughs> Native Americans playing football. Yes, yes, uh, for as long as we've been around. But uh, what are we looking for from the Washington offense, Bob. Kirk Cousins uh, hooking up with a, in a kind of a mixed group of receivers. Yeah, uh, definitely a kind of a banged up group of wide receivers. Deshaun Jackson back in action, but he's bothered by a little shoulder injury. Uh, but it didn't seem to bother him last week versus the Vikings. Uh, but this week, they come out three and out. Uh, yes. So punting right away. So and putting the ball into the a hands. Bit of a shaky start. Yeah, putting the ball in the hands of the dangerous Aaron Rodgers-led uh, offense. Although Green Bay has also had its share of injuries off and on this year on the offensive side of the ball. Absolutely. And uh, starting with bad field position here for the Packers. And he quickly throws an interception. So the Packers' offensive woes continue. Wow. First offensive play of the game. And uh, so Washington uh, gets a gift from their defense. Let's see if they can turn it into some points. Uh, Looks like they won't on the first play there, Bob. He is sacked, is Kirk Cousins. And it's second down and very long, second and 18. Yeah, this Packers' defense is uh, definitely not showing up this season. Giving up a lot of points and... No real strengths to talk about. There we go. But it'll just a little quick little pattern up the middle has Washington in business, third and manageable. Here's the pitch back to Jones. He's got the first down. He's got a lot more. He's inside the 10. A nice move. Gets yes. him inside the 5. Throws off a tackler to get into the end zone. Sometimes you can see it coming from a mile away, Corey. Yes. Wow. And that was in that case, that's exactly what and it was. And that running back used one of everything, Bob, it looked like. He used a little spin move. He had a little juke and yep. jive. And then he finished with a stiff arm inside the five. And there's nothing like getting all three evasive maneuvers used up in one big touchdown run. The only thing he didn't do is hurdle a uh, hurdle defender. Yeah, I don't know if Matt Jones has the kind of uh, Walter Payton-esque uh, vertical style. Ooh, but this the, is a fumble. Falls on the ground. It's going to go out of bounds. And so it will stay with Green Bay. So they are fortunate there, Bob, to still have this ball. Absolutely. And going back to the hurdling, it seems to be a pretty popular thing to do in uh, college sports, or college football at least. Yes, certainly. And uh, we saw in real life uh, last week, the Denver Broncos returned the blocked extra point for two on the uh, hurdle on the defensive side, of course, to get the block and get the run back. So kids, make sure you work on your ups if you want to be an NFL player. Yes, there we go. Get your vertical. We'll have to add that as a new category to the combine. They'll be watching very closely. Here's a deep ca- pass Pretty sure it's already to one. Jordy <laughs> Nelson. Yeah, I believe you're right, Bob. <laughs> but meanwhile, Jordy uh, Nelson, another veteran Packers receiver, one of Aaron Rodgers' most reliable targets, gets them down the field. They're in business inside the 30. Yes, Jordy White Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> Half Nelson. All right. A white lightning. Ooh, I like it. There we go. And, uh, there we go. And uh, Aaron Rodgers with the errant pass there. Probably should have been caught. Yes. It looked like a pretty good throw the, there by Rodgers. To the former Alabama elephant, Eddie Lacy. But this one is caught Ooh. for a touchdown. A diving grab in the end zone. Overthrown a little bit. But sure hands Jordy Full Nelson making the grab. There we go. <laughs> Fully in control. Yeah, there we go. And you see if Mason Crosby can tie this game up. Another veteran player for the Green Bay side. And it is good. 7-7. Mason Crosby to kick things off. 16 seconds left to go in what has been an exciting first quarter bout. Yeah, uh, the, both offenses look like they kind of uh, found their footing here a little bit. And uh, looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a ball game, Corey. Yes, giving the Hog Etts and company something to cheer about here. <laughs> The, the Trumpets now. Oh, that's right. <laughs> They've renamed their their, uh, their themselves. Uh, uh, happily, though, Bob, they did not have to change. Happily. They did not have to change their outfit. No. Nope. <laughs> they did add the wig, but that's about it. And oh, man, Daxon with a huge reception there. Wow. Many many yards after the catch there. All the that was way, a huge play there. All the and way again, down this the field. 
Green Bay defense breaks down here. <laughs> yep, yep. Let's see what they can do on the next play. Wow, Jones again showing some moves. Have we seen this from Matt Jones before, Bob? Not this year. But uh, anyone going up against this Packer defense can definitely look pretty good yeah, so running the ball. He's making some cuts. Uh, he, this one he cuts inside. He gets it down to the five. But, wow, he has shown everything so far, Matt Jones. Maybe he can be someone they can just ride to a victory here today. It looks like uh, that's the game plan there, Corey, as he sneaks in for his second touchdown of the game. Yeah, working out well. So, yeah, keeping the ball on the ground. There's no... Uh, no problem with uh, putting points on the board that way. There you go, Bob. Maybe it'll be an easy day at the office for Kirk Cousins. Maybe. He just knows Maybe. he needs one once in a while. Yes. Can't rely on his arm all the time. No, but. yeah. He's not He's not really the kind that's going to uh, win you games by himself. Oh, he has the ability to, for sure. Definitely an underrated uh, pro quarterback. Yes. Yes, you're right about that, Bob. Our uh, video feed here at Sticky Bleachers, we get, uh, we're get we siphoning off the video signal from uh, NBC and company, so the uh, choppiness will pop in here because we have to, uh, you know, we can't afford the, the cameras and everything that they use in the blimps, so we just... Uh, now, in this new gold dome that they put over the, the Redskins uh, stadium, it, it's uh, got to be interfering with reception a little yes, bit. Yes, well, uh, on, underneath the gold, Bob, it's actually just lead. Uh, this gold, oh, lead yeah. A lead dome with gold leaf, uh, saving some money that way. Calling gotcha. it solid gold, but uh, really... Is it gold... Is it just gold spray paint, then, you think, on top? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, maybe we won't... We'll skip the gold leaf, and we'll just go right for the uh, the sparkle paint. Yes, that'll do it. That's true. That'll do it. That's even It cheaper. looks the same. Yeah. <laughs> just as classy. No, there's this general smell of spray paint in the in the stadium here, so... Uh, well, that's always been present here in Washington. <laughs> oh, it has been? Okay. Yeah, that's gotcha. just what the city smells like. Gotcha. So, uh, a little bit, <laughs> little bit of swamp and uh, a lot of spray paint. Yeah. Swampy spray paint. That's, that's good. There we go. Aaron Rodgers, wow, just before he crossed Ooh. the line of scrimmage, gets the long completion to Randall Cobb. No one's going to catch another veteran, Randall Cobb, out of Kentucky, Bob. Yeah, Randall Cobb, a little bit of a slow season here for him, but nice reception there, and the Packers tie this thing up. And it seems like he's finally found his spot. They've, they've used him kind of off and on as a kick returner, Bob, and a slot receiver, and it looks like he's finally come into his own. Well, it looks like he's always had a... Uh, a lot of pressure put on him to be the number one guy, but he's been the number one guy when Jordy Nelson gets hurt or when they have uh, injuries at the wide receivers, so not really a fair shake to be the number one guy yet, but yes, I agree with you. It seems like he's found his place in the Packers offense. All right, and with just under a minute left to go before the half, uh, the Washington is going to make it complete to Jackson, and is he going to get in? They're catching up to him. He gets caught at the oh. 10, but he sheds a tackler and gets hit for the touchdown, Bob. I believe that was Ha Ha Clinton Dix that he just threw to the sideline there. So Deshaun Jackson and that sore shoulder, not a problem on that play there. Wow. And again, this breakdown in the Packers defense. Yes. You can almost hear Green Bay just complaining. And Washington. Here in Washington, D.C. With, with a quick strike just before halftime. And now you got to wonder if Rodgers and company can put something together here. Although time quickly ticking off here on the kickoff. They're going to have less than 10 seconds, maybe less than five by the time they get down. Uh, no, the half yep, will expire on that kickoff return. So 21-14, we go to halftime. Let's take a quick look around the league, Bob. Carolina Absolutely. and New Orleans, a battle in the NFC. It will be Carolina taking it 27-14 over the somewhat beleaguered New Orleans team. Uh, Mark Ingram not having the very best day at the office there. Seven rushes for 10 yards, probably your big stat. Minnesota and Arizona, Bob, another exciting one. That uh, yep. vaunted defense of Arizona holds Minnesota 24, and 27-24 is your final. Adrian Peterson still coming off of that season-ending injury. 10 runs, 75 yards in the losing Thank effort. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, German German doctors. And Bob, Appreciate it. would you ever think you would hear this? Cincinnati and Buffalo, a battle of two first-place teams in the AFC. Oh. <laughs> absolutely. If we're in 1987, Bengals absolutely. 21-17. So the Bills' win streak comes to an end, uh, and they're still going to be number one in their division. But I, I don't think we'd ever thought we would see that happen in this century, Bob. It's been a little bit, but <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, everything repeats itself. Let's go back here to our nation's capital. What can Aaron Rodgers and company do? Or maybe it's all going to be on the defensive side for the Packers to get back in this game. Yeah, I think it's got to be on the defensive side. The offense is used to be in these uh, shootouts here, unfortunately, for Packer fans. That So, you know, the offense can put points on the board, but it's 
tough to be in these games, whoever scores last type of situations. There you go. That might be what it comes down to. Here during our halftime festivities, let us give a shout out to Tech Monster, the programmer of this patch. You can find this patch of Tecmo Super Bowl and a lot more about what's going on with this game over on techmobile.org. Bob, let's get back to the action. As Jay-Z says, on to the next one. Ooh, Jay-Z. There's a Dropping good one in. to bring in. I wish he was in the house tonight. Unfortunately, he's oh. still in Brooklyn. Oh, the Packers give oh, it up oh. again, Bob. So not the way to come out of the gates for the Packers. Washington takes over at their own 12-yard line. Yes, and that's the second gift that they've gotten. Let's see if they can convert it to points here on first down. They pick up a short gain. Second down. Kirk Cousins. Back to throw. Oh, and we got a touchdown and it's there. caught for a touchdown. NBC signal feed is not treating us kindly. <laughs> and we got a touchdown, though. You can see Kirk Cousins celebrating there a little bit. And uh, the extra point is up, and it is good. So 14-point lead here for the Washington Redskins. There we go. Hopkins set to kick off. So, again, the Packers trailing by a lot here. Aberderis has to back up to inside his five to receive that kick. You gotta wonder why he was standing up so high. Maybe he thought Ooh. it was gonna be a little squibberoony. Nice return. They're trying to make up for that fumble in the last possession there. And uh, Packers take over the 30 yard yes, line. In an even deeper hole, but not abandoning the run is this Green Bay team. Eddie Lacy's got a nice gain on first down, second and two. They need to get a sustained drive here, Bob. I think it's uh, safer to say that they're just starting to run the ball now. Seems like they came out throwing. There so we I go. Think that was course, Aaron Rodgers threw that interception on the first play from scrimmage for Green Bay. I wonder if uh, Rodgers continued to struggle, although he, although he's not. But if he was, the news headline would be Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers. Oh, I like it. But uh, he was not Aaron on that first down completion no. to his tight end, Jared Cook. And this one is down the field. And he's got Adams. He does. Devontae Adams with his first reception of the game. So second down and one here. Packers goes without saying they need to score quickly here. Corey. Yes, now, but this is the kind of uh, offensive possession Ooh. that you're, we're used to seeing from Green Bay. Wow, Eddie Lacy dragging two or three tacklers down, but it's a, it's a balanced attack. We've got short passes, long passes, and a mix of running plays led by, of yep. course, the tank of Eddie Lacy. Absolutely, and uh, Jordy Nelson misses a surefire touchdown in the back of the end zone. Wide open, so wide open in the Missed opportunity, opportunity there. Yep, that, that should have been just pitch and catch, and Rodgers maybe got a little bit too excited, overthrew him. Mm -hmm. He was a bit errant. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Anyway, so uh, yeah, but the, being down 14, though, the Packers, they can't settle for a field goal here, although they're going to bring out the field goal unit. It's just a tough position to be in. Yes, it's a tricky. They're down a couple of scores. They're still going to be down a couple of scores here after this one. So it is curious that they're not going for it here with uh, just over six minutes left to go in this game. Not sure why they didn't go for it, especially when you do have such uh, such handsy weapons as Green Bay offense. It's true, does. and your defense isn't really stopping anybody, so you can't really count on them uh forcing Washington to punt the ball. Right, Packers are going to look for a gift here from their defense. I'm not sure not sure they're going to get it because Matt Jones has just been on fire. And here he is again with another big gainer, showing Eddie Lacy how to drag right. defenders down the field. Look like Eddie Lacy in a different uniform there for a second. <laughs> or maybe Matt Jones is Eddie Lacy. I don't know. How do we maybe, here we go. This one's complete to, to Dotson. Dotson. Dotson deep down the field. And uh, another first down, so... The Redskins, they'll take first downs all day long and let this clock run down. Yep, although they're not they're, they're certainly not sitting back on their heels, Bob. Kirk Cousins no. taking the uh, the seven-step drop there. This one's complete to Jones down the middle of the field, throwing late down the middle, usually risky, but uh, Kirk Cousins fires a bullet and gets us to the fourth quarter. Probably one of the most most accurate NFL quarterbacks that we have. Yes, he certainly I'd say can Kirk be. Cousins. He's not really much of a gunslinger, but he can fire those bullets in there, but he doesn't take too many risks. Oh, I wouldn't want to catch a pass from him. <laughs> yep, there, right you are, Bob. Oh, Matt Jones with a trifecta wow. hat trick for the day. He is having himself a night here on Sunday Night Football in the primetime stage. Hope you started him in your fantasy team. Don't leave him on the bench. Go 35-17. That's just about going to ice it for this game. Green Bay is going to have to score and score and score with just over and four score. minutes to go in this game. So going to be tough sledding for them. Let's see what they do come up with, though. If they roll over and die or if they try to make it respectable in garbage time. 
Yeah, well, there's one thing these Packers don't do, and it's quit. So they're going to keep going for it. Jory Nelson with a big reception there. Jukes the defender. Gets all the way down to about the 21-yard line. So big play there. Still time left, Corey. Right, there you go, There's Bob. Still time left. You're right, not rolling over and dying, not quitting. They go for the home run ball, and they just about get it. This is to complete to that's, his tight end, Jared Cook. That's what they needed. That's what they needed. So you got to go back to that drop touchdown by Jordy Nelson yes. on the last series there. How big would that have been? Yes, because they would have, instead of having a field goal, they would have had the touch on that one, and the touchdown here would have put them a lot closer. But now the job here, Bob, they got to get this ball back. They got to get it back in. Uh, Surprisingly, they kick it off all the way down to the five-yard line. Yeah, kicking it. Easy, re easy return here for Washington. Going to get it all the way up to about the 28, 29-yard line. Yeah, kick coverage not so strong there, and now it's just up to that defense who has not been able to contain Matt Jones all day long, and that trend continues as he runs for a first down. Yep, it's one thing if your defense has been uh, playing really well, you can pin him back and try to get the ball back with some good field position, but... Uh, that has not been the case for Green Bay's team. No, Green Bay, they do get some pressure on... They do yeah, get, yeah, Kirk Cousins. That may be the first time he has had pressure on him all day, Bob. He was uh, beginning to think that no one was trying to tackle him. So. Right, here's, they just go back to old reliable Matt Jones, and he, uh, just as as prescribed, picks up another nice gain on second down. The Packers have to call their second timeout defensively to try to save some time on this clock. Yeah, when you average about five yards a run here, this third and five isn't really that scary. But There we go. No gainer here we on go. that one. So Green Bay calls their final timeout, and they are going to punt. Green Bay still down by two possessions, though, with uh, just a little over two minutes left. Yep, let's see what they come up Need with. Need to score quick. Oh, they decided to take the touchback. Probably uh, wisely decided to take the touchback there. Yep, I think so. I don't know if he was going to make it too much farther than the, than the 20. Uh, officials here Ooh. not going to the 25, deciding they'd rather just put it on the 20. Playing with old school rules. Yeah, old school rules here. Well, in Trump Stadium, we play old school. Hey. Make football great again. That's right. That's right. Rodgers has plenty of time to throw. He's got some good weapons downfield, like Jordy Nelson, who's wide open. Jordy Nelson uh, having a huge day here. Yes. Aaron Rodgers' safety valve, it looks and like. And that was created by the Packers' offensive line, giving Rodgers hey, uh, yes, 38 or 39 minutes to throw, it seemed. And uh, trying to catch the Washington defense off guard there. Toss them to Eddie Lacy for a nice little gain there. There he goes. Rogers Got to take shots in the end zone, Corey. Yep, that's right, Bob. That pass would not have uh, gotten the job done. It would have gotten you the first down, but uh, that's kind of irrelevant now. we got to get this ball yep. on to pay dirt. Yep, got to get rid of it quickly, too. There's Jordy Nelson making up for that other touchdown he dropped back there. It looked like he had his choice, Bob. I think I saw Randall Cobb standing on the opposite back corner of the end zone all by himself. So uh, yep. Aaron Rodgers is getting to choose who wants to get the touchdown on that play. Looks like he could have uh, dumped it down to Eddie Lacy as well and run it in. So. There we go. But again, down by two scores, I think Washington, they'll give up that uh, touchdown just to get the ball back. Here's the onside attempt, and it is recovered by Washington, and not falling on it is Jackson. No, Deshaun Jackson. On the hands team, he's not going to fall on it. He's going to run and try to get the touchdown, but he will fall five yards short with seven seconds left. Yeah, so the Packers' offensive effort comes up short, and again, story of their uh, season, Corey. Oh, and that one will fall. Coming up short. Yeah, so Washington not able to uh, get the up yours touchdown to end the game. Let's take a look <laughs> around the league here, Bob. Buffalo is still in control despite the loss this week. 8-2 and two over New England. Uh, Cincinnati, with the wind, improves to 8-2. and two. So AFC loaded with some powerhouse teams, and Jacksonville still leading at 8-2. and two. So something is going to be exciting come playoff time in this AFC. Uh, and of course, What is this, 1997? Yeah, here we go. Oakland KC tied at 6-4 and four out in the West. Not quite as exciting. Uh, over to the NFC. Look at the NFC least, as you call it, Bob. 6-4 six and 6-4. and, oh, six yes. and four. Giants and Cowboys on top. Uh, Bears and Green Bay tied atop this one, seven and three each. Uh, Green Bay has the tiebreaker with the win over Chicago. Carolina, eight and two. Uh, they had the win over their division rival, New Orleans, today. That was a good one for them. And finally, out to the West, Arizona, Seattle, two great teams tied at seven and three. So no one really running away with any divisions here, Bob. No uh, playoff locks as of yet. Pretty exciting action here in the NFL. But let's wrap this one up from Washington. Yeah, uh, so it looks like a pretty pretty standard Packers uh, game here, and the Redskins' offense was clicking on all cylinders here. And you got to credit the offense, but also you have to look at the Packers' defense a little bit, giving up a, a lot of yards um, uh, to Matt Jones and 
of course, the three touchdowns. They just don't know what uh, – I don't know what's broke, Corey. you got to kind of look around. and Anyone can run the ball on them. They can throw the ball. And then there you go. They're, they're always in a shootout. And what's so. looming large is, the, is that dropped touchdown pass or the, the overthrown yes. touchdown pass because that would have had things tied at the end of regulation 35-35. Thirty-five, it of course, have. assuming the extra point. So that that was going to be a big one. But you can point to a lot of plays that fell short for Green right. Bay. You've got some uh, some defensive gaffes. You have the inability to stop Matt Jones, and you've got, of course, a couple of turnovers. Uh, one on special teams exactly. on the kick return, and then of course Aaron Rodgers, uh, Aaron Rodgers interception on the first play from scrimmage we don't get many opportunities to say it so we should no absolutely we we need to take advantage while we're here so uh before the police come and enforce that restraining order (laughs) that uh, was issued by the cast and crew of sunday night football we're going to get out of here if you like this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button that subscribe button get in touch with us on twitter where we are at sticky bleachers and facebook where we are sticky bleachers signing off this week i am Corey. I'm Bob. We'll see you next week.